So hello and welcome back to CSI Wildwood. We're trying to solve the mystery of the death of Nutty the Grey Squirrel and we've been processing various pieces of evidence found at the crime scene to run up a list of potential suspects. So far we have four suspects on the board. The Red Fox, the Badger, the Tawny Owl and the Raven. But we have two more lots of evidence to process, namely the scat, another name for animal poo, and the tracks that we found in the crime scene. So first of all, the poo. We have sample F. Sample F, quite long, quite slim. Of the various samples on the identification sheet, it could be really either the pine martin or the weasel. But the size rules out the weasel. This, we think, is Pine Martin. That's a new person for the board. Next sample, G. G was quite round and had a lot of cereal in it. Of the sample guide, it could really either be beaver or badger. The beaver one though, that had more pieces of wood. So we're pretty sure G belongs to the badger. Another piece of evidence that he was in the area at the time. H. H is rather tricky. We suspect H comes from the red fox. Not big enough for the lynx and the diet does seem to be right for him. Lastly, we have I. If you've ever kept a pet rabbit, you might have thought straight away, oh yeah, that's rabbit poo. But it's actually too large and has a slightly different shape. We believe that this is from a fallow deer. Again, someone else who isn't on the board yet. Finally, we have the tracks. Preserved as plaster casts. This one is J. It's a little bit tricky, this one, but we think this belongs to Badger. When you look at the guide, the Badger is shown as having five toes. This seems to only have four but we think this is probably the last toe on the end. The giveaway is partly the size and also how wide that pad is. Second footprint. This one is rather faint, but you can just about see the pad. One, two, three, four toes. The spacing and the size suggest that this is Pine Martin. This is the second piece of evidence that we have for Pine Martin in the area. Our last track only has the two toes. So we're looking at an animal that has hooves. The shape does give something away. If this was a wild boar, we'd expect to see the dew claws at the back. There's nothing there. So we're pretty sure that this is a fallow deer hoof. Again, this is the second piece of evidence that we have for the fallow deer being in the crime scene. We've now processed all the evidence and that leaves us with six animals that we know were in the area in the eight hour window when Nutty died. They are the red fox, the badger, the tawny owl, the fallow deer, the raven and the pine martin. We'll be interviewing these six later on today but something that you can do yourselves, we'll be putting a link onto profiles for each of these animals. If you have a look at their profiles, you may be able to decide if some of them are more or less likely to be the killer of Nutty the Squirrel. 